What's good, everybody, man? As I don't know, like, this game this year has been a real disappointment, bro. So I was thinking, like, why not revolutionize it? So before the video starts, drop a like. Hit that sub button if you've messing with the videos or the streams or whatever. Y'all don't know what time it is, bro. Y'all go ahead and do all that real quick. Get that out the way. So look, I'm finna go ahead. I'm finna make a 5-7 lockdown defender, bro. As y'all know, I go on streets a lot on the one v one court. It's not a lot of guards who do that shit. So I'm finna teach y'all how to do this. You know what I'm saying? Make it fun for y'all. I'm finna show y'all exactly how to do it, how I do it, how I play defense. Now listen, before we even get into any of this, if you are not a good guard, I'm sorry, it's just not it's not gonna work. It's just it's just not gonna work. If you can't score consistently, it's not gonna work. If you don't know how to play defense, it's not gonna work. If you don't know how to dribble or something like that, if you don't know how to get open by yourself, it's not gonna work. So that means if you set screens, it's also not gonna work. If you, you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to learn how to play on your own in order for you to actually prosper and do this. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm on a 5-7 lockdown, 60 overall right now. I'm on a 60 overall. And as you can see, every play is not going to work, bro. Like, you're not going to be able to get a stop every play. And the first thing I want to get into is the, um, how do you do it? The pull the chair animation. So, basically, all you really have to do is just the same stick you move with. All you want to do, it doesn't matter what camera angle you on, all you have to do is just pull the stick back or, you know what I'm saying, towards the basket. So, like, with the way he's pushing you, you want to pull that stick back. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like how I was in 19 where, you know, you could bait them into, like, stepping out of bounds, stuff like that. It's not it's not the same. So, it's kind of hard to explain everything. But another animation that I wanted to really get into was if you are seeing a center dribble, the best thing for you to do is try to run into them so they can pick up their dribble. Now, it's a lot of good centers out there that, you know, um, are good at posting up and are good at, like, maneuvering it, but you can also still stop them as well. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can catch them in different animations and things like that, like, on post fades and all other type of stuff. It's a lot of things you can do that people don't even know about. Like, when people post fade, you can reach and you can, you can like, spam if people do a post hook, you can spam them and you can get it off their leg or something like that. There's a lot of things that people don't know about that I've practiced myself, and that's the reason why I prosper on the ones. No, I do not beat every center, you know what I'm saying? But this is, like, what y'all are seeing right now, these are just clips, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is not a real center that I'm playing against. I'm playing against one of my friends, Faded, but he's actually trying to get to the basket, and he's actually really trying to score, if you know if that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to just show y'all, like, I don't want people to think, for, the, for anybody who watched my video that's new, I don't want nobody to think that I do fluky shit or I do, like, you know, I don't know how to play or I'm just making this video just to get some, view, or get some views because, like, I really don't do this. I really do this. Now, as y'all can see, I'm playing against a SS3 guard. Now, just while I talk, just watch how fast I get this man up out the way. And this was today. This, this wasn't a day. This wasn't two, three days ago, this was when I was making my vid. This is the same thing, because as you can see, I still got the same camera angle. You see it, right? Cool. But now look, though. I was thinking, like, this game is really trash. Like, this game is really, really terrible. So why not find a way to make the game fun? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if y'all peep, but it, as you play the game more and more, 2K get, gets way more sloppy as you play the game more. Like, you see all the sloppy shit that 2K does. And if you don't, something's wrong with you. Now, one thing that I've noticed when I play the ones is like every center that makes a center, every every person that makes any type of center, all of them can do the same exact things. If you make a paint defender, a paint defender can post you up, a paint defender can throw hook shots, a paint defender can do post fades, a paint defender can do uh fadeaways, um close range fadeaways. You know what everybody do close to the basket, they can do it all. Like it doesn't matter what type of build you are, glass hand lock can dunk on you. Um, a pain defender can dunk on you. Anybody can dunk on you. Like, even... I ain't just talking about with my guard specifically. I'm talking about with actual other centers as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, they really just um, make the centers very specific how they did the guards. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're a two-way finisher, then it's more than likely that you can't shoot the ball. You know what I'm saying? Or it's more likely that you can, what, dribble the ball as good as other people can. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't... Make it like, I guess they just said, we're going to make sure the guards can't do everything, but make sure that, like, the centers, we're going to leave that alone. I don't know why they did that, but, I mean, it is what it is. I just looked over here, and I already had 15 points. I told you. I get people out the way very fast on the one square, bro. And what are you talking about? This is a, 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 a guard. This is just a guard. Think about what I do to centers, bro. 
I don't even get sentenced to fall, bro. Unless 2K just finds a way to lag my jumper or something like that. Then that's a whole different story. But other than that, I ain't never really had no problem with streaking. I streak every, I, I, I at least drop a 10 game every streak. <laughs> now watch me clown. I did, this is what I mean by defense. If you do not have defense, you will not prosper on one v one court. Now that's talking about going against other guards and that type of shit. If you do not have defense, if you cannot lock somebody up, how I'm locking this guy up right here, <laughs> you can't prosper on one v one court. When you go against guards, we talking about centers in this video. But when you go against guards and they can ISO, then you know what's gonna happen. You're gonna get ISO. But I, I, I want to make this. I want to make this very clear real quick. All right, this guard that just left. He just left the game. This is one of the guards I be talking about when I say center saves, I mean screen saves live. That's a guard I need screens. Y'all can, can clearly see that. Now I'm finna go against a big, strong center. Pause, pause. I don't know why I just. <laughs> I'm about to go against a center, a 7 3 center, bro. I'm about to show y'all. Like, this is a clip from a couple days ago. It hasn't been that long. I don't remember how long it's been. But these, these are clips of a center with a ball, right? And I think I, I might have got like four or five stops on him. I don't remember how many stops it was. But I'm going to show y'all each and every way to get stops. I made him stop dribbling the ball at some point. I got a, a pickpocket stop. I got a, um, he had his, I think he had his post scoring badge. If I'm not mistaken, he had his post scoring badge. And I, I believe... I'm pretty sure if I'm not 100%, I'm pretty sure he lost the ball off of off a chair. Of me pulling the chair, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember exactly, but like these moves are very easy to do. You have to practice them. Like people be wanting to just hop on the ones court one day and be like, oh yeah, I should be able to do this, do that. Like, no, this shit takes practice. Do you think I just hopped on the one court and just instantly became good? I might have. I, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I might have I might have just did it one time and just became good. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't I ain't take too many losses on the ones before I start actually catching on to what I was doing. But, I, but like, in 2K19, it was way... It was 100 times easier to guard centers because it was things such as baiting the centers into pulling the chair to where, like, you don't even have to make the centers fall when you pull in the chair. You just have to get them deep enough in the paint so that if you pull a chair and they, like, kind of, like, jump towards you, their feet are going to step out of bounds. You get what I'm saying? Like, they're gonna, their feet going to touch the line to step out of bounds. Now, if you do that, it's just, just going to keep them in bounds. And then on top of that, if they didn't step out of bounds in 19, if they go up, it was a, a block. You know what I'm saying? If you was above them, you could block them. This nine days, 2K basically just gives you animational blocks. Like they don't really give you, like, actual real-time blocks, if y'all get what I'm saying. Like, you have to get an animation or something like that. Or they might give you a block here and there, but it's not like, like, you could be there, you could be up there with them, and they'll still make it, and they'll still green it. They won't give you the block. You know what I'm saying? Like they, it's not, it's not necessarily realistic as it was in 19 when it came to garden centers or guards garden centers. Now look, it's a lot of, it's a lot of things that I just said in one thing. Okay, I understand that, but y'all gotta understand like, tools is born, threes is born. Like, I like, it's so many people that play the tools and the threes, bro. I was just like, man, what can I do to be different? You know what I'm saying? Like. Because everybody's doing the same thing. Either everybody playing the comp stage, comp stage is trash, everybody sets screens, or everybody in the park getting their weapon centers up. Everybody's doing the same exact things. And then the events don't make it no better. Y'all, you feel me? Like the events really don't make it any better. Like, make sure y'all pay attention to the video too. Make sure y'all pay attention to the clips of me getting stops on this man. I'm pretty sure I didn't get like two or three stops on my man's right here. Make sure y'all pay attention to that. But the event's not making no better, bro. The 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, when the madness was trash, I didn't even want to play it. As if y'all didn't know, last year, when the madness came, I went from like a 91 overall to like a 96 overall in when the madness. I was going crazy because the win madness, it was fun. I mean, this year, it's like they don't even care. But you know, we got to care. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we want to keep the game relevant, we have to care about the game. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way that we're actually going to do this. And I was like, man, I'm going to have fun on the ones court. You know what I'm saying? Usually... The ones is for centers to prosper, right? But I was like, why not? Why can't I prosper on the ones court? So, you know what I'm saying? If you watching this video, go on the biggest streak on the ones court. Go crazy. Because ain't no centers doing it no more. Like, centers, centers are not running up high streaks no more, bro. Like, the highest streak I've been seeing off centers is probably like 30, 40. I can run up a 30, 40. I just ran up a 30 two days ago. If not yesterday. Now, I was two days. I ran up a 30 game two days ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really easy for me. Like, go do, go do. You can go do it too. Shit, I mean, it's not hard. If you made this far in the video, man, make sure you drop a like. Hit that sub button. But wait, though.
My man's got his post scoring badge. Well, he should have it, if I'm not mistaken. He should have his post scoring badge, right? And look at this. It's that easy. It's not hard to stop centers. It really ain't. Make sure you drop a like. Hit that sub button, man. CB the squad, man. Y'all know what time it is, bro. Uh, live streams every day. Videos. Try to do them every day. The grind don't stop. 2020 is going to be a hell of a year. Let's start off right. Let's go crazy. And that's about it, man. Go cross with the one you want, Corey, bro. Because I'm doing it by myself at this point. <laughs> and I feel like I'm going to be doing it by myself for a long time, too. I don't think there's nobody that's really going to take advantage of what I'm, what I'm, what video I'm giving. You know what I'm saying? I don't think no one's going to really take advantage of it. So you take advantage of it. Um, Ain't nothing really else to talk about, bro. I'm going to go get, give me a 50 game on the street or something like that. And I'm going to try to give me a, a video or something. I'll catch y'all later, bro. Peace.